Hi everyone, welcome to our homeschool table. My name is Gerilyn. I am a mom of three kids, ages 10, three, and one. And today I am part of a collaboration about homeschool planning with Davine from Calm in the Chaos Homeschool and Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool. And there will be a playlist linked down below so that you can see all of the other moms that are sharing about some homeschool planning that they are working on this summer. So if you enjoy homeschool planning, please don't forget to subscribe and click the like button down below and leave a comment and let me know what are you doing to um, get ready for your upcoming homeschool year. This is also a good time to remind you to drink a glass of water. So today I am going to be working on our kind of weekly plan and um, I've already done a few other videos on how I kind of get ready for the school year. And the first thing that I do is I have my school calendar print out here and I have done a previous video on this school calendar. So I have already kind of marked out this light blue section for term one, which is 12 weeks long and then a break week. And then the green section is term two and there's a couple break weeks in there because of um, Christmas and New Year's. And then um, the last term, term three, is yellow. And this is also how I will be taking care of attendance. Although my state doesn't require attendance, I just kind of keep track for my own personal knowledge of how many days we've done school and things like that. The next thing that I have here is my fifth grade year at a glance. And these are the main um, subjects that we do all year long. So math, grammar, typing, narration, science, history, Bible, literature, um, and then the readers that go along with our Sunlight E program. So this is kind of how I have our year mapped out for 36 weeks, and I've done a video on this as well. I will link all of the planning videos that I've done so far for this coming year down below in the description box. You might hear some baby noises today. She's playing inside because it's pretty hot outside and she doesn't easily stay in the shade. So my other kids are out running in the sprinklers and she's in here with me. But um, we have our year at a glance schedule. I use the year at a glance schedule to also plan out my terms. So some of the things that change from term to term are things like poetry and what poet we're going to be studying, um, an assigned book that is from the Ambleside online list. Um, we change to a different artist each term and composer. And then we also do hymns based on the schedule that Happy Hymnity puts out for their hymn of the month. So those are just some of the subjects that change from term to term. So this is just term one. I haven't even printed term two or three because you never know, things might change. And um, so I, I just kind of plan for the first term at the beginning of the school year and then I go from there later on. Um, this part here on the term plan is basically just copied and pasted from my year at a glance that I had on the other page. So if you're wondering why does that look the same, that is why. So based on my term plan, I need to start thinking about what our days are going to look like and how we are going to schedule each day of school. Um, the way that I plan our homeschool is that I don't do every subject every day. There are some things that I loop or alternate and so this year I am going to be trying a slightly different schedule than what we've done in the past. And what I mean by that is that in the past, I've always required my daughter to be ready for school. She um, should have her morning chart and chores done, her breakfast eaten, all of that, kind of as we start the day. Breakfast and Bible we kind of do together. But um, we've always done morning chart and chores before school. This year, we're gonna try something a little bit different. Okay, so here is kind of how I plan our homeschool week. Uh, there are certain things that we do every single day, Monday through Friday. There are a couple of things that we only do four days a week. 
and there are a few that are two days a week. So I found on the Simply Charlotte Mason website, and I will link this down below, a printable that you can print out um, that are basically scheduling cards. Now, usually this little piece of paper right here would be one full size page of copy paper. I decided that I wanted them to be very small so that I could easily lay them out on my table, which I'll show you here in a minute. So I printed these nine to a page, cut it down from like 36 pages to four pages, and they are a little bit small. But basically, they have different things printed. So we have personal development, habit reading, uh, Shakespeare transcription. These are some of the ones that I don't really use in our homeschool. So, um, I have not cut these out, but all of the subjects that they have printed that we do use. So math and reading instruction, um, copy work, dictation, all of those types of subjects I did print out and I cut apart into these little these little uh, rectangles. And then I am just going to lay them out here on my table and kind of start creating a schedule of how I want our week and days to look. So that's what we're gonna do today. Does that sound fun to you or what? Okay, so here's what I have so far. At the very top, I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday laid out. And then I have these long strips of construction paper that I cut. The first one here says morning chart and chores, and then snack and break, get lunch ready and break, followed by clean up, chores, and break. And then down here, I have all my little piles of subject cards. So different subjects have different amounts of days in our homeschool. And so I only laid out uh, down here what I'm going to be using. For instance, five days a week for Bible, uh, five days a week for English grammar, but only two days for typing, and uh, one day of dictation, things like that. So I'm just going to start laying them out, and then you can just kind of see how I move things around um, as I go. So I'm just going to start by laying out the things that I know I will start with. Um, we are going to be starting out the day with Bible and scripture memory. So that was Bible that I just laid out. And then this one is scripture memory. And those kind of go together in our history Bible literature program through sunlight. We're doing sunlight, uh, history Bible literature level E this year, which is year two of two, um, of American history. So scripture memory follows Bible time each day. Then a couple of days a week, we are going to be doing hymn study. So we're going to do that on Monday and Thursday. And on Tuesday, we're going to do picture study. Wednesday will be music. So these are the things that we're going to do uh, we'll probably have breakfast during that time. And then after we are done with these subjects, we will move on to morning chart and chores. So this little tag here just says morning chart and chores. And you might notice that I don't have any set times on anything. It's more just a flow to our day, um, but lessons are pretty short for each of these segments. Uh, everything is less than probably 10 or 15 minutes for this first section. Um, and then after that, we are going to start on English. Now in the English that we are going to be doing, we are going to be doing a little bit of copy work the first two days of the week. Then the third day will be dictation and the fourth day will be a written narration and this one actually says composition, but that was close enough that I would know what that meant for writing. And then on Friday, because we don't have any more for uh, that, there's no um, transcription or anything like that, 
I have an art instruction tab that I'm going to use and we are going to just do maybe one day a week of a little bit of an art lesson. Uh, then she will finish with uh, learning language arts through literature. So I'm calling that English grammar because that is, it actually encompasses uh, a little bit of everything. Copy work, dictation, spelling, grammar, a little bit of writing, things like that. So she will do that, which the copy work actually comes from the English grammar book. So now we're going to be doing a subject that only has two cards per week. So we're gonna do nature study on Mondays and Wednesdays. And we're going to alternate, alternate that with typing on Tuesday, Thursday. After we do nature or typing, she's going to work on math. And that has five different cards one for each day of the week. And we just kind of move this down a little bit as we need to. In, in Charlotte Mason's method, she has you um, alternating different subjects that use different parts of the brain. So that's why we go from some English work to some nature study and typing to math. And then after math, she will do her reading lesson, and with Christian Light Education's Reading 5, uh, we are going to be doing a reading lesson four days per week. I'm actually going to be having a conversation with my daughter about this because I would kind of like to split this up over the whole year instead of over a semester because this is only a semester course. So we might be doing something like this where it's Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday, or we might do um, Monday through Thursday and do it in the actual semester. So then we have our snack and break. And after snack and break, we are going to do our poetry. Now poetry, we do two different poetry books. We have the poetry book that is listed for two days a week in our History Bible Literature program. And that in the schedule is listed on Mondays and Wednesdays. And then on the opposite days, we are going to do the Ambleside Online Year 5 Poetry Anthology. And if you want to know a little bit more about that, you can, uh, I will link below the electives video that I did a month or two ago. So we don't have any poetry on Fridays, so we're going to leave that blank and open. But after we do poetry, we have five days of history. So we're going to list that right after poetry. And right after history in the schedule is geography. Also, we will probably add our timeline figures to the timeline book during this time if there is one. There isn't always one every single day. Then, after we finish History Bible Literature, we will get ready for lunch and have a break. So then after uh, lunch, we will do science and literature, and those are the last two things. So we have our science cards, and that is going to be four days a week. And they're very short little lessons. And the last section here is literature. And I'm going to schedule this for her Monday through Friday, but she often um, gets her readings done earlier on in the week and then she just marks them off her checklist. So this is kind of what our schedule will wind up looking like. At least this is kind of what I'm imagining. At the very end, this last one that doesn't fit in the frame here is clean up, chores, and break. Uh, we just have a few things that we do to clean up after lunch. You can just barely see it here at the bottom. Uh, but this is kind of how I make our weekly schedule. And then I will be also making a weekly checklist for my daughter to follow. And I will be using my planner to, uh, to list out the different things that we will do each week. 
So I hope that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of how I schedule out our homeschool week. And once we kind of get going with our schedule, uh, we just do some minor tweaks here and there depending on how things are going. And I hold our schedule very loosely. It is more of a flow to the day. We don't get up at an exact time every morning and start at exactly the same time every morning. I have a one-year-old and a three-year-old who make start times like that a little bit more challenging, but we just kind of roll with it and do the next thing when we're finished. So I do like the, uh, the Charlotte Mason method does really focus on having short lessons, but that doesn't mean uh, that you are only doing a little bit of school every day. You might be doing two and a half to three hours of school, but since you are alternating different types of lessons, uh, using different parts of the brain in each different type of lesson, you can still do those lessons back to back without a break after every single subject. So that's kind of why I've grouped things in that way and scheduled in snacks and breaks and lunch and things like that. Thank you so much for watching today. And thank you to Daveen from Calm in the Chaos Homeschool and Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool for hosting the collaboration today. Don't forget to check out the playlist linked down below. Uh, to see all of the other moms um, homeschool planning videos and kind of what they are getting up to this summer to get ready for next year. Uh, if you have any questions about anything that I went over today or you have any comments about what you're doing to plan your homeschool year, please um, put those down in the comment box below. I would love to have a conversation and see what everybody else is up to. I hope you guys are all having a really great day and we'll see you next time.